Good morning, Shawnee Mission. Welcome to the 2021 school year. This is going to be a school year like no other. But you know what? It's going to be great. We're all here. We're working hard. We're getting ready to welcome our students in. And even though our students will be joining us remotely for the start of the year, our purpose and our mission doesn't change. We are a district that is a bridge to unlimited opportunities. And that is ex exactly what we want to do this year. We want to make sure that our children get what they need, our students get what they need for their life success. In the course of fulfilling our mission, we want to do so in a way that involves an inclusive culture. We also want to make sure that we are engaging our community. And that means our community is in the classroom with us during the day, whether that's in class or virtual, but also our parents, because they're important partners in this learning journey that we're on. And then our broader community, because there are a lot of needs and expectations for public schools right now to help our society work. Through it all, we want to make sure that we are giving robust opportunities to challenge our learners to achieve their full potential. Whether students are in person, hybrid, or remote, our mission doesn't change, and neither does our focus. One of the great things about our strategic plan is that we have a crystal clear focus on learning. We have an ability this year to continue work on defining what it means as a learner to have a personalized learning plan. We did that this year when we talked with students about do you want to learn remote or do you want to learn in person when conditions allow us to do that. And they made that selection. We also know that as we're going through this learning process, whether we're remote, in person, or in a hybrid model, the learning outcomes are constant. We want to make sure that students master the priority standards that serve as building blocks for their future understanding of ideas, concepts, and skills that they will apply for the rest of their lives. So it is critical that we personalize learning in ways that ensure mastery of their priority standards, use good assessment practices to provide re regular feedback, and while we're at it, ensure that our students are developing the interpersonal skills that they need for life success. These are not words on a page. These are beliefs that play out every day in the interaction that we have with the learners that we serve. Let's talk about how we deliver that learning. You have been working really hard at Learning Canvas to have the capability of working with students and parents in a variety of modalities. As you know, we have some learners who will be learning remote only, and they will be doing that throughout the entirety of first semester. We have other learners who will be serving in class when possible. That will either be in a hybrid model or it will be in, in class. When we can't do an in-class approach, then we'll have students uh, working remotely. Now, I know that this is a, a real design challenge when it comes to instruction. It's difficult to shift from one to the other. It's difficult for students, but it's also challenging for you. We know how to do some remote learning, and we're going to be really good at it this year. We know how to do in-class instruction with all the students are there. And we're going to create new ways of doing as we think about how to effectively implement hybrid models as well. What I want to assure you of is this, and we've talked about this a lot this summer as we've, as we've tried to help develop uh, strategies for getting ready for, the, for this school year. Don't let the perfect get in the way of the good. You're going to do some things and they're going to work. They're going to do other things and they won't go exactly as planned persist. We talk about our students having resilience. I want to encourage you to have the same approach. Stay with it. It'll be okay. 
Don't be an island. Make sure that you work with friends, with colleagues, with uh, your administrators. We are one team in Shawnee Mission School District. Work together as team members so that we can do the very best we can to help all of our students learn. Now, there has been a lot of work going on this since uh, we left school uh, in the spring. We've really focused on using this model of study, plan, and act to help guide our behavior. We spent time studying the best approaches to deliver learning, whether we're able to do in person or not. We also spent time trying to understand COVID-19. We're working closely with the Johnson County Health Department because we're concerned about your safety and the safety of our students. And we're trying to slowly, methodically, thoughtfully, eventually get to in-person instruction that allows us to continue to teach students in class in sustainable ways. This is a year for all of us to stay flexible and focused on what matters most, and that's helping our students learn while we're also making sure that we stay safe. This year at the secondary level, as you know, we're gonna start in a, in a remote only mode. We hope that soon we'll be able to transition from hybrid and of course eventually to bring all students back into class. We also have, as part of the county gating criteria, suspended activities and athletics while we're in the red zone. It's our hope that we will be able to move to uh, involving students in activities and athletics. We all want that. We all want students in our class. But for right now, those are suspended. At the elementary level, we're starting the year remote. This gives us time to work with our students and our parents to help understand what good practices look like in the classroom when we come together in person. The county gating criteria allow us to have all students in when we're in red. We've chosen not to start there. We're starting remote to give you time to get ready to enter into a hybrid model. We're gonna have more information about that process of moving from remote to hybrid uh, it, for you in the next couple of days. We hope to do that sooner, and we plan to do that sooner rather than later, but we're excited about starting remote, giving us a little bit of time here to really make sure that we do a good job of preparing our students and our parents for a hybrid model of learning. Now, I know that I have a lot of time left in this session, but you know what? I'm gonna yield that to you because I know you've got a lot of work to do. Thank you for all that you do for the children of the Shawnee Mission School District. Thank you for the commitment that you've made to the profession of education. I just want you to know that we care about you. You're gonna do a great job. Keep working as a team to solve some of these, what will be challenging problems as we go through the year ahead. And always remember, the reason we're here in the first place is to help children learn. You're a great staff. Have a wonderful school year.